Hey guys, it's Sam with Ready, Set, Go. Welcome to the video. In today's video, we're going to discuss how you can start trading the financial markets with less than $100. Actually, in fact, less than $10 or $10 to be exact. So what I want to show you guys today is a new platform called IQ Option. And it is a binary options trading platform. And for those of you that don't know what binary options trading is, uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. But uh, once I show you guys the actual platform, just to start out though, this is their website. And as you can see, they do have a $10 minimum deposit. It's actually the lowest I've found anywhere. So if you're just looking to get into binary options and trying to learn the ropes, this is probably the place to start. And for the simple fact that you know you don't have to risk that much to get a feel for the platform, get a feel for the brokerage, because as you know, binary options, there are a lot of brokers out there and not all of them are reputable. But you know, from all the research I've done, I actually use IQ Option and from the other investors and traders that I've spoken with, IQ Option is by far the easiest one to uh, get your money out. You know, a lot of these brokers, what they do is it's easy to deposit money, but then when it comes to withdrawing, they have all these, you know, they'll call you up on the phone, tell you don't withdraw. We want you to, you know, do this, uh, a lot of headaches. And that's not really what you want to do. You want free access to your money, right? And with a $10 deposit, it's easy to get a feel for them. And then from, you know, when it comes to actually withdrawing, it's actually fairly simple and straightforward and they're not going to hassle you too much about it. So let's go ahead and take a look at their actual platform. So once you set up an account with IQ Option, this is what the platform looks like. And obviously this isn't my real account here, as you can see by the zero, zero, zero. But this is the platform that you would be trading on. And the way binary options work is at any given time for whatever you're trading, whether it's currencies or whether you're actually trading individual uh, stocks like Sony or Pfizer, what you're gonna have is a time frame for the option to expire and that's you see this time thing here so it's going to say 22 46 47 48 49 50 so these are one minute out increments and as you look at that you'll see the expiration timeline as the red line and you can actually make a few of these screens if you are watching kind of a tangent here but if you are watching multiple currencies you can actually make are multiple stocks, whichever your choice. Uh, the market's actually closed while I'm making this. That's why uh, the only things are, that are open right now are trading or uh, currencies. But you can actually watch a few different ones on the same screen. You can set different, you know, if I'm watching the US, uh, US dollar and Canadian dollar, you can actually set a few different, you know, uh, <clears throat> time frames. So I can just get a feel for what it's looked like in the past and then kind of zoom in a little bit to see the actual individual smaller micro movements. But with binary options, essentially what you're doing is with the expiration time here, you are either placing a call or put and predicting whether or placing a bet on whether the stock price by the expiration time will move up or down from its current position. So it is speculation in a sense, and there are a lot of uh, trading signals that you know you can look into. You can look into moving averages, Bollinger Bands, RSI. There's a few other ones. Um, don't want to get that technical in this video. Just give you guys a feel for the platform itself. But in essence, what you're doing is you're speculating on whether the price will move up, as you can see by the arrows, or down. And then you place a bet on the dollar amount you would like to place on that speculative call and set the time frame. So if you think in two minutes it's going to go down, you can actually extend your expiration time. See what I'm doing there? All right. So let's move that back to one minute out. Zoom back in. All right. And another really cool thing about IQ Option is if you see this little bar here, what this is doing is actually giving you a sense of bearish versus bullish compared to other traders that are currently trading this. So as you can see right now, you know we got a lot of calls being placed. So overall, the majority of traders that are on the US dollar and Canadian dollar 
they're actually predicting that the price would go up. So that's uh, an interesting tool. You know, don't place too much faith in it. Don't just trade by that. But it is an interesting tool to see, you know, get a perspective on what other people are thinking while you're using the platform. So, you know, I'll make another video, a follow-up video, when the market's actually live with a lot more of these uh, available to take a look at. But did want to touch on a few other things about the IQ Options platform. Uh, if you are new to binary options trading, they do have a great education center. There's a lot of videos going over a lot of different technical analysis and like uh, signals, technical signals that you can kind of learn up on to get an idea of how to actually, you know, improve upon this. And beyond that, I also do want to show you the deposit page, which is kind of nice. It's uh, tiered deposit. You don't have to actually start with the 100, even though it is the most popular. And the minimum is $10. And they actually do offer a 100% bonus. So if you were to deposit $10 and select the bonus, you'd get $20 total. So a $10 bonus on your additional to your $10. But the thing is with these bonuses is if you do take the bonus, you know, it's a pro uh, cost benefit analysis. If you do take the bonus, and you get the $10 from them. You are required to make a minimum amount of trades before you can withdraw that. You know, or they people would just be depositing $10 and not do anything in a week later withdraw 20. So that's not allowed. It's a confusion of people a lot of people run into this with binary options platforms and when you take that bonus, you're telling you're telling the brokers that you are willing to spend or trade a certain volume you got to make a certain number of trades, a certain dollar amount needs to be traded. And that's what you kind of sign up for if you take the bonus. But with IQ options, now that you guys know this, you don't have to take the bonus if you don't want to. You know, if you are confident, you're a little bit of experience and you do want to start with $500,000 and you know you'll be trading for the next six months and you're willing to redeposit if you do have a down variance and you lose some money on this platform, then take the bonus. If you're brand new and you just want to try out binary options trading, don't have to take the bonus. Put 10, 20, 30, 50, $100 in and see how it works. Um, again, this bonus is a one-time thing. So it's only upon signing up and you're only allowed one account on IQ options. So one real account. So if you do want to take it, this is pretty much your only shot to do that. <clears throat> but Beyond that, you know, I personally do like the bonuses. Uh, when I I actually use a number of different platforms, I try not to put all my money into one platform. And again, it comes down to the withdrawal issues and stuff like that, or you know, if I run into some sort of, um, you know, some sort of problem. Just to, to be on the safe side, I'm a little risk averse. Just to be on the safe side, I do spread out my portfolio across multiple binary options platforms, but. I actually do end up taking the bonuses because I know that if I do end up liking the platform, I am going to redeposit and most likely hit their minimums for uh, for withdrawals. So uh, that's about it, guys. You know, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I highly recommend IQ Options, and if you guys are going to sign up, uh, try out the link below. It will it will give you guys a, a special discount, so you do get these bonuses and. Uh, just try it out. I highly recommend it. I love binary options. If you guys watch my channel, you'll actually know that I'm more of a, my previous videos are more based on long-term investing, uh, dividend growth investing to be in particular. But for the short term, uh, my play money has pretty much been shifted over from swing trading to binary options. And if you're like me and like to have that day-to-day -day trading activity, as well as your long-term portfolio and your 401k and your Roth IRAs, then I highly recommend it trying out binary options and uh, the first stop I would recommend is definitely try out IQ options. All right guys, well that's it for today's video. Thank you guys again for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe or give it a like. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below and I'll try my best to get to get around to answering them. All right guys, have a great day. Catch you guys later.